Hi everybody, this is Carrie with Golden Heart Ranch and I am excited to share another art project with you. Today we are going to be making sock bunnies. So I've got my little models here and it's a fairly easy craft. It takes about 10 minutes to make so I hope you'll join me in making some sock bunnies. Um, so the items that you're going to need in order to do it are some rice and about a cup to a cup and a half of rice an extra cup to help fill the sock. It doesn't have to be glass, it can be plastic or a mug works too. I've got rubber bands here, so I'm using little ones. It doesn't really matter the size, but you'll need at least three rubber bands. I have Sharpies to draw the face and got my sock here, some scissors, and then some decorative ribbon and any kind of ribbon you would like. If you don't have any decorative ribbon, you can also use twine. And if you don't have any twine, you could just forego the ribbon and or the twine and just have a bunny with some rubber bands and it'll still look cute. So we're ready to get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our sock and we're gonna put it inside the cup and then we are gonna fold the out, we're gonna fold the sock a little bit inside out, about halfway, a little less than halfway, and kind of just create a nice opening. So you can see I've got my sock on the glass and I've got the opening here. And then I'm gonna slowly pour the rice in as it fills up, I'm just going to push it down to kind of fill the base of that sock and really get it all in there. So I'm using about a cup and a half of rice. This white one here was about a cup, and then this pink one here was about a cup and a half. So I like the bigger bunny, so I'm going with about a cup and a half. Up to you how much you guys want to use. You could probably also use beans. You don't have to use rice, um, but I happen to have a bunch of extra rice because I bought the big bag at Costco. All right. So... Now I've got the rice inside my cup, which you can kind of see. And then the next step is gonna to be to unfold the sock carefully. And I've got the sock here, and then you're just gonna pull it out and then shake the rice down to the base of the sock. All the way down, we're gonna create kind of a ball at the end of the sock down here. Get that rice all the way down, really get it down there. Kind of milking it down, make sure all the rice is in there. And once you've got this ball, you're going to take a rubber band and you're going to tie that off. So taking a rubber band. All right. So the next step is going to be creating a head on the bunny. So you're just going to kind of take your hands and a little less than halfway in between the bottom and the top. You're just going to kind of mold it a little bit, almost like a pear squeeze it and then you're going to kind of create like a little bit of an extra circle on top for the head. So then once you do that, you're going to take another rubber band and tie that. And don't worry if it's not too tight. Um, I'm only doing one, one stretch of my little rubber bands here around the, the head, but when we do the decorative ribbon, it'll kind of tighten that up a little bit around the head. If you're not gonna use ribbon, you may wanna tie it twice around, maybe use a bigger rubber band. Okay, so I've got the head of my bunny, I've got the body of my bunny, the next thing is our tail. So I'm gonna to go to the back of my bunny, I'm gonna pinch about a quarter size of the rice towards the bottom. I'm gonna take this rubber band, and I'm gonna tie it around that little quarter size ball area See if I can get three. Nope, looks like I'm only getting two. Okay, there we go. So now you can see I've got the head, the body, and the tail. So the next step for my bunny is to create some ears. So I am going to cut the sock about two inches from the head. You really don't need more than that unless you want floppy ears. So both of these were about two inches cut from the top. If you want the ears to drape down, then obviously you could do a longer cut and then the ears will be floppy ears. So I'm gonna go with about two inches or so. So I'm gonna take some scissors here and cut that. And just put that to the side, we're all done with that. So now, All right, so then we're gonna straight down the middle, we're gonna cut almost to the top of the head. We don't wanna cut into that rubber band. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna go down the center here. 
Okay. So now I've got two pieces, two separate pieces. You can see, and there's the, the back side of my bunny. So I'm gonna take one side at a time. I'm gonna kind of fold my, my ear a little bit. And then I'm gonna kind of mark it from this corner here around in like a shallow little curve. And I'm just gonna cut all the excess off. So you can either use a pen to do it or you can just freehand it. So this first one, I'll just freehand it to show you what I'm doing. So you get an idea. All right, so you can see I've got a nice little pointy ear there. For this one, I'll show you guys. You can take your Sharpie. And from this corner on the outside corner, you can just kind of do a little curve and then you're just gonna cut off the excess here. All right, so now I have two ears and one of them wants to be floppy. <laughs> All right, so I've got my bunny here with one floppy ear and one pointy ear. It's a cute little bunny. So the last step for our bunny is to, or sorry, almost the last step. We've got two more steps. So the second to last step is to create a face for our bunny. So I'm going to use my Sharpie. It's a little bit, I have two, I have a pointy one and a thicker one. The thicker one works fine. So I'm going to use my thicker one. And I'm going to put two eyes, so two little circles, just like in my samples. And I'm gonna do an X for the nose. So you can see I did a little X for the nose on those guys. And then I'm gonna do some whiskers. All right, so now you can see my bunny's face. So he's got two eyes, he's got a nose, he's got some whiskers, he's got some cute little ears. So now the last step it's going to be some ribbon. So I'm gonna use the red ribbon. And you're just gonna cut a nice long piece. You want it long enough that you can tie a nice bow and then you can always cut off the excess. So I'm gonna turn my bunny and I'm gonna do a little, a little side bow on the side of its neck here. So give that a nice tie. See, I'm gonna snug that and make it a little tighter and it will just kind of separate the head a little bit. And then I'm just gonna trim the excess. Adjust my little bow here and make it look to my liking. And there you have it. So there's our bunny. So I've got one pointy ear and one floppy ear. This one's very cute. This one's a little bit different from my other ones. You can see the face and its little bow tie. And now it can join the little bunny family there. And these will make a great springtime decoration. I know Easter was yesterday but they'll still be fun to have around for spring. We've got lots of bunnies hopping around our local parks and our trails. Um, it's fun to watch the bunnies scatter around and I'm seeing more of them since there's less people out on the roads. Um, if you do the bunny project, I hope that you will post pictures to social media, Facebook or Instagram and tag, hashtag my GHR. We'd love to see your pictures of your sock bunnies. And I look forward to bringing you another art video within the next week. If you have any questions, you can email me at keri at goldenheartranch.org. Stay safe, stay healthy, be well. We miss all of you ranchers and we can't wait to have Golden Heart Ranch open back up soon. Take care. Bye.